Hello guys, it's been a while. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, uh, what this video is, is it's kind of just a brief little introduction video and kind of a how-to video on how to use the Celestron 114 LCM computerized telescope. This is a uh, roughly a $179, $200 telescope. But anyway, this telescope right here is even more special because even though it's the same telescope, this one actually has a computerized mount and a computerized system. So this telescope retails for about $350 or so. Anyway, on Prime Day, I was lucky enough to find this thing for 200 bucks. And when I was trying to set the whole thing up, I had some issues just trying to figure out like exactly how to hook it up and like how to wire, like well, not wire it, but the setup process, I had I had some issues. And there were there are videos online about it, but there wasn't really a complete one-two guide on how to set up this thing. So I thought I would just make this quick little introduction video. This is not a full setup video, but it's just to, kind of to guide you in the right direction. And if I can help at least one of you have an easier time than I did setting this thing up, then this video was worth the trouble of making it. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. Let's get right into the video. This right here is just a basic overview of some of the major components of the telescope. Just so you know, exact. this isn't everything that it comes with, but these are the basic stuff that you need just to get the telescope up and running. You have the telescope itself. This is the laser um, eyepiece, so you can actually zero in on whatever you're looking for. And this thing right here is extremely important. The telescope itself is right behind here. You take this piece off and you remove this piece to get to the mirror and assembly when you're actually ready to look at an object. This is the tripod system. So fold it up. And this actually comes apart. This part right here is actually used to hold the computer in place. Just slap the computer in like that and then you're all, you're all set and you're good to go. This is important as well. This is the motor system. So this is how the telescope turns and rotates. And this port right here, this phone jack port, is where the computer itself plugs in. Now to this telescope, which I couldn't find online, takes eight AA batteries. And you uh, get to the battery compartment by pushing in on that tab right there. And this whole compartment opens up and allows you to put in the batteries. All right. All right, so this right here is just going to be the basic assembly of the telescope, and this is just a rough thing on when you're putting it together. When you first take it out of the box and everything, one of the first things that I did was assemble the motor assembly. You got a little bracket down here, and there's a bracket right here on the tripod. It's very straightforward. And what I recommend you do is you line up the computer connector right by the actual mount for the computer system so you don't have the cords everywhere. Very simple, line it right up. In, just like that and then once it's in place there's a little knob down here on the bottom of the uh, tripod just screw that in and there you go the motor is installed and ready to run and i would recommend you put the batteries in first so once that and as you can see the port for the uh, computer is right here i have the mount right there so it's super simple to just plug in the computer, hook it up, and then boom, you're all set and ready to go. Now the next part, and just some of these things aren't 100% clear, so that's why I'm making this video, is just because I had some issues trying to figure everything out. When you go to install the laser assembly, it doesn't, it's not 100% clear on how to do it, but what you do, you just Loosen these screws to the point where this bracket actually starts to flex a little bit, but don't take them all the way out because then the bracket will fall apart and you gotta put it back together. Loosen it a little bit, just slide it over top of this assembly right here and then screw it back together, very simple. Now this thing, this is how it actually mounts to the side of the tripod, how the telescope itself actually goes in. So all you gotta do is loosen this and don't try to just directly force this or put it in directly, it needs to slide. So make sure this side is facing away. And then it just gently slides into place. And then just tighten it once you get it the way you like it. Alright, there you go. Now 
the telescope is assembled and ready to go. Now, the only other thing you need to do before, and this is very important, you need to make sure that you get the uh, laser scope calibrated. You must do that during the daytime. I didn't do that initially, and it created a lot of problems for me last night. I couldn't find anything. Everything hooked, once you get everything hooked up and ready to go, you need to go outside during the daytime. Very important that's during the day. And you need to calibrate the laser and use an object like a mailbox or a tree. Just get, it recommends about a quarter of a mile away in another video, but you gotta get this calibrated. Otherwise you won't be able to find anything or you just have to hope you get lucky. But once you do that, everything should be good to go at that point. And the one thing I didn't cover earlier, this right here is the eyepiece. You remove this and it comes with two lenses. This one right here is a 25 millimeter or whatever. But that right there is how you take a look. And hopefully if you do it all right, you can see things in the night sky. Overall though, the telescope has incredible build quality. I am very happy with my purchase, especially if you can get this in the $200 range. Like this telescope itself is about a $200 telescope but with the computer and the automatic adjuster. So this thing right here, I'll just do a quick little demo. Plug it in, flip the switch. You should see this thing activate. It should say verifying packages, please wait. Now it's asking me to do the calibration, which you can do that once it's nighttime. But right now, so if you hold down any of the keys, it, already, it very gently moves the telescope and then holds it in place. So you don't have to manually do it or anything. And once you get this system calibrated, it'll ask you some basic questions. Then it'll ask you, all you have to do is just tell it what you're wanting to find, and it'll automatically go to wherever or whatever object you're trying to find. Very cool. guys well that's about it thank you so much for watching i just really i had some issues trying to figure everything out and get everything assembled and you know there's so many different videos that are just jumping around so i wanted to make a real quick video to anybody else buying telescopes like this or anything just so you kind of have an idea of what you're doing and i hope this was helpful to some of you anyway like subscribe and uh all right guys i'll see you in the next one